I'm going to unbox this Thunderbolt uh, 3 docking station and this is going to be for um, basically hooking up my work laptop because I need a lot of USB ports for it and this is the only one that actually had four USB ports uh, along with two uh, USB-C power ports. Um, power ports are really important, especially with my setup. Um, if you guys can see over there, I have my personal MacBook as well as my work MacBook. And with my work MacBook, I only have like two uh, USB-C ports and so it's kind of annoying. I currently have like this uh, setup where I have a USB hub and uh, the USB hub only has like two USB ports and I think one USB-C and so that was just not enough for me. So what I wanted to do was get something and this was $200. It's an investment for sure. So my office has been just small incremental like additions over time. Uh, so I just bought that just to minimize like the number of times I have to unplug my uh, UV key and then my headphones and switch it on and off. Um, so that is the reason why I bought this. I want to be more productive. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just trying to get on calls on webcam and then also be able to log in with my UV key. So that is the reason why I needed uh, four USB ports. Sure, I could have had a USB uh, C dongle that had four USB ports, but I just needed something a little bit cleaner and I feel like this definitely suits it for about $210. First, I wanted to hook this up because I feel like the audio is a lot better than uh, when I invested in my Sony wireless um, Bluetooth headphones. I really love my Sony wireless uh, Bluetooth headphones, especially for the noise cancellation, but I feel like with the Bluetooth, it's just really hard to connect that device and when I have other devices around, it's trying to connect to the other device. So the reason why I needed four USB ports was number one, uh, for this headset. Number two, I have a UV key that I have to hook up and like kind of scan in order to uh, be able to uh, use passcodes uh, with my work device. The other thing I needed was my receiver for my Logitech mice as well as my keyboard. Um, I found that using the Bluetooth with the keyboard and the mice, there was just a lag with my MacBook. It is my favorite mouse so far and so um, I just needed something where the dongle uh, receiver could be attached and then uh, generally like I've noticed like the lag time is completely gone if I use the dongle. So that's the third reason why I needed to have a USB port. I needed another USB port for this camera. Um, this webcam is the all key cam. I'll go ahead and link it down below. I bought it at the height of when people were trying to get it uh, for working from home and so this one is a USB B version and it's a widescreen and um, I'm not going to invest any more money on basically setting up a new webcam so this is the one I got and so I just wanted another port in order to uh, be able to kind of attach everything. So the four things I needed it for, webcam, headset, UV key, and then the dongle. This came packaged really really well. Um, I went ahead and opened it uh, the wrong way to so make sure that you understand that there's a flap where you can open it. And then it came with the dock and a few different wires uh, that it came with included like the USB-C and then the uh, HDMI to display port cord, which is actually pretty handy because my LG 49 inch monitor um, also has a display port input. So that was great. And it had the uh, USB-C to USB-C and then it has um, the charger that goes along with it. And yes, this dock needs a charger and then it has a dock for itself. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to install this and see if everything works. So stay tuned. All right, you guys can see my standing desk here. Um, I basically got it from Ikea and then um, I decided that I didn't want the manual crank and so I got an electronic desk. Um, and then underneath there, you'll see a carriage um, in some of the videos where I try to hide all the wires. So my goal is to be as uh, minimal as possible without all the wires showing, but sometimes it's just impossible, especially with the headset uh, working way better for my work and corporate environment um, instead of trying to finagle with the Bluetooth. So here you can see it's pretty easy to set up. Um, it's very minimal. So if you're looking for that minimal look, it, I mean, it's pretty clean. All right, so I just got it all set up. I actually love it. Um, I'm able to kind of touch the key if I need to. Over there, the UB key, you know, for the passcode. And it's all there. Um, both my MacBooks are clean on that side. And then I'm just going to have to move all this stuff over a little bit so that my headset um, doesn't kind of like tie into like the pins and pencils and all that stuff. So I'm going to return this. This is the um, Anker like hub right here. Okay, it has two USB ports, the uh, two USB-Cs, and then the memory card and the HDMI 
on this side. And um, I am not going to be using it. Now, if you wanted to take a USB hub with you, this is actually really good uh, so that you can kind of like take everything out, and, but this goes with your laptop. So you can kind of remove it from your laptop and use the laptop by itself. Um, but this is what that looks like. Um, I just didn't think that this worked for me. This is about $60, and so I'm going to return this because I feel like that is a better deal. Um, that one does require power though. This one uh, does not. I mean, it does because you have to hook this up, but otherwise, um, I would recommend this one if you needed a bunch of USB ports. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the box again. I've got the four USBs, and then this one is actually not <laughs> uh, two USB like hubs. It's actually one is like for out to your computer and the other one is actually uh, into your monitor. So this one goes to my monitor and this one goes to my MacBook. And then uh, you also have a, the D uh, display port as well if you wanted to use that. If you obviously didn't have a USB-C Thunderbolt 3 uh, port. And then you also have the ethernet and then you have one USB on the outside. So I think that this is awesome uh, for my setup. I'm excited to be using this and not having to finagle like with only just having two USB ports. So that is my review on this uh, Thunderbolt 3 docking station with power delivery. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Um, I am going to attempt to answer them. Again, my whole thing with um, a lot of this equipment is being able to be more productive um, at home and at work. If you like this video, go ahead and click on the subscribe button below and click the bell to get notifications the next time we create videos. Normally, I create videos on things that I buy that are uh, going to make me more productive either at work or on my personal ventures um, in entrepreneurship. So feel free to subscribe and get notifications the next time I create new videos. Thanks guys, bye.